And welcome back here on a Tuesday morning edition. Don Carter's already making calls this morning, so if you're hot, call him. Call Ann, let's talk a little business first before, before we do an ask Ann. Let's do a little business thing here. Ann, uh, what is happening with gas? Glory got an email right here. It says, people stealing license plate and driving off with the wrong owner of vehicle charged. Is that, have you seen that happening over at Lee's? Mm, not yet. Not so far. Now, gas. We don't cut up. the pumps on no more. You got to come in and pay us. Okay. We ain't cutting the pumps on because we don't have too many to drive off. So we just not cutting the pumps on. You have to come in and pay. That's what they do. They wait till a line of people get out front, and then they wave the hand for you to cut the pumps on. I noticed this morning when I stopped over there and got me a USA Today right here at Lee's, gas was three ninety three. Um, ABC News reported this morning gasoline could be as much as four fifty a gallon by the end of the week. Do you believe that's sure. possible? Probably. I haven't changed the gas since the weekend, so it's probably going to go up today. And I've got a story here said out Hi. of the Birmingham paper, which I thought was a great article this weekend. A girl, Sandy Williams, owns a small country store in Crossville, Alabama, which is down the other side of Boaz, and she just runs a little convenience store there. And she writes this article to the uh, Birmingham paper talking about rural folks in a bind over high gas prices. Says most a lot of people there work in the, the poultry, uh, they're, you know, chicken plants and all that stuff, and they're making minimum wage. And she says a lot of people come in and simply buy $5 worth of gas at a time because their budgets are that tight. Wow. Oh, $3. Now, is this happening really? here too? I mean, $3, $2. <laughs> we get that. People buying literally one gallon of gas? Yeah. Less than. Yes. And what she's saying here, what can people, uh, she said it's costing wow. people on average $10 a day to get back and forth to work. It's costing more than that. We got a lot of people that more. comes to us working like Florence, Decatur. We even have a man usually come to us every morning. He works in Birmingham oh, wow. five times a week. And he have to drive to Huntsville on two of those days, back to Huntsville and back to Birmingham. So uh, lately he uh, said he had to cut way back because of the gas was more than what his check was a week. So, Get Have out. you noticed people stopping their purchases of water? Oh, no. So they're still, I figured that would be a good easy way uh -uh. to cut back is we, stop uh, buying bottled water. Uh-uh. We sell more bottled water and more Gatorade than anything. You're but, kidding. Uh-uh. Mm. The only thing that's really been slacked up with us, um, the people is buying, is more like snack foods and stuff like that. Hmm. And then now this, as the heat comes in, they buy a lot of cold items. They don't buy a lot of fried food or uh, stuff like items. that. But they like buying you, cold like foods Matthew and Kyle salads brought and up, stuff. up here with Chick-fil-A. Hmm. He said people, if you figure it up, water costs about $10 a gallon. Mm -hmm. And it's free. And it's something you can get free. Yeah. All right. Enough business. Let's go to Ask Ann on a Tuesday <laughs> morning. Today we'll do something a little bit on the different side here, Ann. I've got a story out of San Francisco. You know, they just okayed gay marriages out there. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, Ann, <clears throat> as same-sex couples prepare to wed in California later this month, it, it comes into effect later this month, one county clerk in Central Valley plans to sidestep the state legislative gay marriage by not performing any ceremonies. Ann Barnett plans to stop performing ceremonies for all couples in Kern County as of June 14th. She will issue the new gender neutral marriage license as required, but refuses to preside over any ceremony because of space and staff restraints. That's what she's saying. Do you, Ann, believe in gay marriages? No. Oh. I don't hear you. What? No. So you don't think a woman should be able to marry a woman and a man shouldn't be able to marry a man? No. No. Uh-uh. A lot of people do. God didn't make Adam and Steve. God made <laughs> Adam and Eve. <laughs> a lot of but, amens right yeah, that, now. That's a good one, Amen. You know, uh, that's a, good one. a lot of folks are for that. And they say you shouldn't be prejudiced against them. And I know they got the same rights as everybody else, and we have gay friends. No, I, I, you don't have to marrying like it. is one thing. You don't have to like it or agree to it or condone you know? it. That's their lifestyle. They choose that, and that's their own business. But you, you know, don't but have you to know, change your But you know, half of the women that's, that's marrying the, the same sex, see, they don't have a bad relationship anyway with a man. That's what causes it. Oh, God, God. <laughs> 
So you say every man calls, in this room is saying, "Oh, you say crap. It, a man calls a woman to go gay." I didn't say a man. Is that what call, I, I didn't say a man calls it. I no, said, what you had, think what I said the say. majority of a woman that is is messing with another woman had had a bad relationship with a man. Are you I saying, know five or six of them that but, really had a bad relationship with a man. So they thought they a turned woman to a woman could yes. satisfy them more than a man. You well, better be behave, or you're going to be going a different way. Yeah. <laughs> I know five or six of them did it. No, you ain't nothing. Please. <laughs> yeah. ain't, yeah. Man, what? please. I can't, ooh. I, I can't even think of you being funny. <laughs> I'm a male trapped in a woman's body. No, you ain't. No, you ain't. I'm a man. Your whole different walk of change. Be quiet. Don't so, even say that. <laughs> all right. We do agree on that. But now, all right, let's get to politics a little bit this weekend. Mm. Hillary resigned. I watched her speech. She, she finally suspended conceded. her campaign suspended, in case right. something happens to Obama. She's right back where but she's left. Do you way. think he's going to select her as <laughs> vice president? I think he is, but I hope he don't. She is faking all our doors. Well, now, you were supporting her before, and I you was against Obama. You now know you switched over, I don't and now like you Obama's Obama. Name. And, what? I don't like Obama's name. I don't like anything about him. Well, what? see, that's that's your opinion. That's like, I don't like, see, you didn't first want the woman to be the president. But see, on down the line, you know, you kind of change your mind a little bit. Well, I'd rather have her and him. Oh, please. What is she about? She ain't about nothing. You gonna put her little coattail husband back in there to sleep with everybody in the darn White House. <laughs> You know, I didn't vote it, for him. Anyway, <laughs> to put everybody back. I'm on the other coat, side of the fence, ain't He's going to coat everything that's up in there, and then they're going to be trying to kick her out because, you know, she. Wait a minute. Let's go and get to the real other thing. They did say she wants a lesbian, too. So look, what about that? <laughs> you were calling Hillary Clinton a lesbian on this show. I don't care. Who they would it shock? Huh? Who they would it shock? Well. As, as much Who as her, said she was? Look, as much as, she, as her husband run around here coding, he can't be doing something to her. So a woman got the police in some kind of way. Well, let's talk about Michelle Obama. We talk about her, too. You want her in the White House to be your first lady? I don't care who be up there. Just get Bush tail out of there. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't his fault gas is four or five hours. It is his fault. No, it ain't. Yes, it is. No, it ain't. He's yes, it is. Yes, it is. No, it ain't. Listen to Jamie Cooper. I'm, I'm all ears. Let, I'm just let, like let Obama. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Bush is just the Cyrus president they ever put up there. He was worse than Clinton. Now, Clinton just had a coding problem. That's all he had. He just couldn't leave the women's alone. Bush is just pretty sorry. He's sorry. Ain't no point you going up and us about it. He's sorry. Look at the economy. Bush is just completely sorry. Admit to it. You just hate to admit. You, you know what? You know what your problem is? Tell him, you man. You can't admit, admit that when you wrong and when your conscious, you know that man ain't right. And here you are standing here. I'm bad. I'm going to say him. Y'all wouldn't tell nobody. You shouldn't tell nobody you voted for him. <laughs> Y'all be running from him saying you voted for him for a sorry thing. This has been a segment for this all you Democrats. This has been another edition of Ask <laughs> Ann. We'll be back in just a moment. Y'all hang on.